they'd read the book, we'd have book discussion, and everybody brought a brown bag lunch, and then I prepared. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, Avery, you're fired. Hi, my name is Jen Covey. I'm the owner of the Canvas Artfully Yours and also JLC Studios. And um, we're here in Freeport. This is a teaching studio in which I teach classes, uh, creative kids, artsy tweens and teens. And also I have girls nights, which is awfully fun as well. So it's a little bit like the paint and sips, but um, we work on wood, kind of mixed media, that kind of stuff. Um, one thing that I absolutely love about Freeport is the sense of community. Um, growing up, it's always been this wonderful place of family, friends, you kind of know everybody. And um, being here as a business, there's a huge network of support. And there's great associations that we like as business people to pull together and support. So there's a lot of um, love that's around in this community. <laughs> that's another reason why I love Freeport is how they support their community. I love how the Girl Scouts are out and active and I wanted to incorporate that into it. So every summer we ended with a community service project. So it was either for the library, the food bank, um, the Renaissance Association. And our very last project, the girls wrote and illustrated short stories and they worked we sold bracelets that they made, and we were able to publish the book. So I put it all together, and the book was published, and we sold it for Make-A-Wish. Yeah, so it was really a la labor of love that is very dear to me, and that's what brought me to the canvas. But we, at that time, we were over in the Carmela's supermarket building, and the owner at that time was Marcy Urbanski, and she was fabulous. Oh, she, she is like salt of the earth people. She has a great soul, very giving heart. And she welcomed our group in. They did a book signing and uh, book readings during the Free Poor Christmas celebration, which is really nostalgic in our community. And recently, that all came full circle when one of my students who's in sixth grade, she just got published and she wrote a book about overcoming bullying. She is a sweetheart, Julia Wesolowski, and I hosted her book signing just this past Christmas, so it was super sweet. <laughs> the shoot building, I mean, it's just very iconic here, and that would be an incredible restoration. My understanding is the floors upstairs where the arched windows are, you know, lofts would be incredible. <laughs> something like that. And I love the, the Cremelos building. I don't know if anything can happen with that, but gosh, when we were there, it was the perfect setting other than light. You know, I didn't teach there because the lighting isn't all that great because the ceilings are so high, but they're tin. And I mean, it just has such an eclectic feel to it. So I would love to see something done with that too. Yeah, and a very cool upstairs. The roots run so deep here. You know, it's, it's a place that a family stay, um, you know, and we have so many new families coming to the area. It's a place of potential. It's a place of growth. And I think, you know, with that being said and the, you know, the community spirit here, it would be a good investment.